Hey, welcome again to Manifest God. Manifest God broadcast worldwide. What it all means to manifest God is God is new and you manifest him. Now, I'm going to talk to you about the power of God in you, the man that you need to manifest. We are taking dominion. This year is a full year of taking dominion. The numbers are all working together. And it's a year of man as God to take dominion when God created this earth. God bless you for coming. Please call somebody and subscribe if you are on either YouTube or Facebook. And if you are on our websites or any uh, um, all our platforms please just connect to us spread the gospel spread the message god is sending us to motivate the next generations and people who have you who have left your life till now if you've been your hundred years you have hope to enjoy your life on earth before you leave i'm telling you you have to manifest god experience god in this body before you leave this body. Father God and the Holy Spirit, I welcome you in this particular session, O oh God, that world was we dominate, O oh God. Everything around us that you gave power into. Lord God, we will recognize, O oh God, the supreme power in us. Lord God, that the world will see and will give you all the glory and praise. God bless everyone that, O oh God, Here's this, and let the word go and touch, Lord God, the whole universe, in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, child of God, you know, I want to tell you that um, <laughs> we've been seeking so many things around there, you know, this kind of thing, meditation, the, the universe is... Uh, they, 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 they do the chakra, the all sorts of things that man is looking for from outside them. So they are chasing all sorts of things. They, they want to go as far to find out how the power of the universe is, how things uh, have been put in place. And a lot of people looking out for so many things. But the secret is, it's all inside you. It's all inside you. The whole universe is inside you and it's waiting for you to manifest that power inside you. Glory be to God. Manifest God, we've been doing um, very great. Thank God for um, this vision that God gave us and changing people's lives. Oh, I thank God. You see, the, everyone that has come through to pass in our, our, the vision that God gave us over 34 years now um, on manifesting God, that is the same as to send Christ to the world. The mission to send Christ to the world is for everyone to be able to manifest power. And not until you understand that it lives inside you, it becomes like, oh, come on. That is why Bishop Queen co-founder of the Manifest God um, been ministering to you that you got to advance yourself. It's inside you, you've got to advance it. It, it. it is powerful in there. So the more you cripple yourself, the more you feel like, oh God, I need something out there. There's nothing out there. Not until the children of God understand that the power is inside you and you got to get out. Manifest God. God is hidden inside. Got to manifest that God. Last week I told you that you understand some definitions, and that definition is so simple. It's beginning. Beginning is a very powerful word that makes a whole lot of difference in our lives. And I tell you, child of God, beginning is very strong because beginning is the end. And I don't tell anybody understands that beginning is the end. There's a problem. I said it's a huge problem. And I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Those of you who call yourself New Testament Christians are uh, we are born again with New Testament. 
uh, we, we, are, we, we are regenerated. Jesus came and died for us. Now that's good. I, I, don't, I, I don't argue with you because you are Gentiles. Gentiles need, they all they know, know is um, jumper things and happier things, what Jesus Christ did, what Jesus Christ did. And they feel like the Old Testament is actually gone. It's, there's no need for Old Testament. Oh gosh, Old Testament is new. Old Testament is the New Testament. Is the the Old Testament is the Scripture is Jesus Christ, and the New Testament is the fulfillment of Christ. Take it out this way. Old Testament move in faith more than New Testament move in faith. I tell you. That's why Abraham is called the father of faith. And they call all the great men of faith from the Old Testament before coming to the New Testament. You see that all the men of faith, you know what the Old Testament is? They, they believe in the invisible God. The invisible God that they can see with their eyes. And then the children of God that God called and separated and believe and they fought, they, they fought for the name of God and they believe in the word of God. The, the Old Testament is God. And understand that the Old Testament is Christ. If you don't get it, you, you, you'll be just swimming in the surface. A lot of people call themselves New Testament because they say, oh, in the beginning, God gave us power. We lost the power and now Jesus Christ came. The power that we got was still Christ. Is Christ, Christ the, the, the tree of life that was in there, the breath of God that was breathed into man, the Bible of Jesus Christ, the words that I speak, they are spirit and they are life. That's Him, it's the Word of God. So, child of God, you got to understand that beginning is the end. You, you're missing out a lot if you, you take the Alpha from, from the Omega and you just, just take up the Omega. Omega is the same Alpha, but when you separate them and you don't want to enjoy the Alpha, you're going to lose out in so many things. New Testament Christians and the believers are making a lot of noise about, oh, this, this, this and that. And I got a lot of messages for you that not until you understand the Scriptures, Jesus Christ took the Scriptures and read them. He says, this is the fulfillment of that scripture. I am the scripture. There, there's nothing that was made that was ever made that's without him. And everything that was made from Genesis tells the, the mind of God, the mind of Christ. And that's what today I want to bring to you, the message on dominating the earth. It started right when God created you. He has in changes intentions of creating you. He created you. So that you dominate the creation and make the world a better place. And that it brought light into the world and that light in the beginning. You know, it says, let there be light and light came. And that light was the light of man. The life of God is the light of man. And I tell God, I want you to know and understand that Jesus Christ is the same of the light that we saw in Genesis. You understand that he's the beginning and the end? If you really want to understand Jesus, go from the beginning. He has never changed. It's the same. The scriptures, sometimes you look at the, the words and the commandments and it says that these laws are, um, are Old Testament. They're gone. It's no needed. No, you who, who told you. How would you have known that uh, you have grace if there was no commands before? Is a way that God expressed himself for you to know him better. So he has to let you know that his standards are so strong and you're not able to even handle it so that now you understand who he is, that he didn't come to this destroy you. But you got to know why, if, you, if there was no Old Testament, there was no anything else that you would not even understand what mercy is. Is Jesus Christ showing he is making the world to know him. He's a God omnipotent God. He's got a lot of things inside him. 
you have a little bit, don't, don't try to crash. It says, I didn't come to destroy the law, but I came to fulfill it. You understand me? Jesus Christ, he's the beginning. Not until you understand that he's the beginning and the end. And the beginning and the end are the same. They are the same person. And that is why it causes a lot of miracles to happen. It causes a lot of miracles to happen. We got to learn now to be thankful to God. And that's the way that we can do media. Now listen to me from the beginning. Every scripture that you read in the New Testament is already said in the Old Testament. Everything. When David said, take not the Holy Spirit from me, it restore in the joy of my salvation. What are you talking about? The Bible says that salvation is of the Jews. When God called them, he says salvation, Jesus Christ, Yeshua himself said it. He, he is not different. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. He is the word of God. The full scripture is him. He's a written word. And he came as a living word. The New Testament believers and all the um, Gentiles are uh, making noise and noise and, uh, because uh, they got everything free. They, 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 saw, they know that Jesus Christ came in the person. God came down in the person of man. It's a man, you know. So when he came as a man, that is uh, how Gentiles can believe him because there are a bunch of Gentiles who are looking for for things that they can handle, things they can hold. If Jesus Christ didn't come as a human being, as God coming down as human being on earth, I believe that no gentle will be saved. Because gentle need a push. My God being want to live like a gentle, that's great, but he want to live as a true Jew, as the Bible says in Romans 2, verse 27 and 29, it says that Jew, it being a Jew, is not of the one that is circumcised by circumcision, but is born again by the heart. And his praise is not of man, but of God. I'll tell you, whatever you do, you got to move from Gentile to Jew. You got to want you to understand. From Gentile to Jew means that you take the whole testament the whole scripture in full you don't take out anything you don't add anything the whole jesus is the beginning and the end and after that's why i take you to the beginning and know the purpose of god when god created the earth in the beginning he want man to take control over things to dominate them and that's what you are you got to dominate that's it even now the devil came to try what he did god restored what he has to do and he did even more better he even advanced it and made it more uh, you know, amazing. And this time he stopped the devil and says, uh, when you accept Jesus Christ, the, the, the tree of life, the living one, he says that you have eaten our life. He didn't say that until you eat, any day you eat of this uh, tree of knowing good and evil, that is what's creating confusion. People want to know knowledge you know, the good between good and evil and trying to uh, um, judge people and all this. Knowing good and evil is totally deaf. It's the tree of life that makes all the difference. And that's Jesus Christ says, I'm the bread of life that came from heaven. It's the same one. There's no difference. It's the same. So you want to know the mind of God, go to Genesis. Everything he said was true. And he came to manifest himself to the Gentiles and to make the Gentiles know that, yes, he says, I came to my house, but they received me not. But as many as received me, I give them power to become the children of God. A Gentile has got power to become children of God. But his own already are his own. They didn't believe in God. They believe in the word. They believe in Christ. Jesus. They have nobody else than to believe. Jesus Christ has saved Jews. The same Jesus Christ saved every human mankind everywhere. There's nothing that anybody can do without Jesus Christ. People called, want to find Jesus in so many things, but he, his, his body that came on this earth is not what shows who he is. His trueness of his person is the word. That created everything. So in the beginning, he says, let us create man in our own image. That's what I want to take you to. God has a, a purpose that when he was creating you and I, he used us. Elohim. You know, Elohim is one. Elohim is plural. 
He used us because he puts the spirit of agreement. A child of God to dominate this earth must understand that you must agree within your spirit, soul, and body that is one. And then you also, as all human beings, must work together to, to work. You need people. You need, that's why he says it is not good for man to live alone and he created him uh, um, a woman to be with him. That scripture is not a marriage scripture. It is a human being scripture. That human being, we need each other. We are not able to work on our own. We got to be thankful for what God has done in our lives and everything and every challenge, everything that comes in our way. You got to be thankful and grateful that we are the children of God. That's how you manifest God and that's why you take control. So there is power that God has put in you and there is saying the different virtues that are placing uh, um, your, 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 your son, your, your daughter, your, your friend, your God brings different people to us that we will uh, um, uh, uh, help us. That's why God he, he says he'll bring you mothers, he'll bring you fathers, he'll bring you, you know, everything that you lost, he will bring you. God wants us to work together. You know, I'll tell you, a lot of people are creating the spirit and the, the cause of the power of the Babel. The Babel spirit is let us be here and let us not expand. It's a self image. It's a self thing that wants to gather and doesn't want to uh, uh, use, utilize what God has given us. God gives us the earth to dominate it. He say, didn't say find one place. So us is very important in domination. Always there must be supernatural and physical agreements that makes the wonders here. According to the Bible, agreement is a very powerful tool that can bring about great results and when believers come together in unity. Don't try to stay home and think of it and put in your head and stay in your head. It's, it's, a, it's a limitation of power. God says that it's not good for you to always think by yourself. God, God is, doesn't see it victory that human beings will isolate themselves or a tribe will isolate themselves or a nation will isolate themselves or a country will isolate themselves. It is not good. And then you see the difference between men and women. That's, that's, that's what it tells. It is huge because being, being on your own, man and woman, this means the, 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 the other tribe that you need is so different from you. That's why you need them. The other country, the other color that you need is, is also, that's, that's, that is powerful. The the opposite that you you need the, the 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 son that you if you are a father you have a son the son is not you are not the father you you are father you are not a son the attributes of a son is different from the father and what a son pro provides and produces different from what a father produces but it comes to work together and great things comes and that is why God as one he showed himself as Holy Spirit he showed also himself as a son he wants to tell us it's just it's just God is omnipotent God God can be in heaven and can be on earth but he has to let us know that we got to work together and get things happening for each other just using making it look like we want to do it on our own that doesn't help. You know, the prayer of agreement is guaranteed to bring results every time in, when, as Jesus Christ said in Matthew 18 verse 19, Jesus t-shirt, that's when it taught us that we, when believers agree on anything they ask for it, will be done you know, unto them. There's an agreement. The power of agreement is very important. Don't isolate yourself. Don't feel sorry in yourself and sit down and worry about certain things. God always give an angel to somebody. And God, when God gives you that angel, don't joke with it. You are an angel to somebody and somebody is an angel to you. What God gives you is not for you, it's for others. What God has given something to somebody also for you. And I, 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 I 
not just want to be closing with this, but I want you to be grateful for everything that has come into your life, even the animals around you, the, the, the surrounding the trees and everything. They work together. And all is working together for our good. We have to be uh, pluralistic minded. We have to be working with people, breaking barriers and not being ourselves. That is a very strong root and power that makes you dominate the earth because the, the, the whole earth is so huge. All the things that God created is so huge. You cannot handle it by yourself. I told you last week that you know beginning is the end. So you put in everything and you start from a cell, but the cell breaks and when it breaks, it falls, it breaks again. It suddenly breaks again and it becomes a lot. So these cells that grows in you, that makes you are yourself. The little tiny thing inside you, as healthy as your cell is, is that's how healthy you are. And I'll speak that life and power into you today that you and I, we got to dominate this earth. That's why I'm this. For. I'm here. You're listening to me. Call me. I have something that you don't have. You have something that I, have, I don't have. You got to call me. As I'm speaking this truth, you want to know the details of manifesting God. I have so much dreams. I've got so many, many instances in life miraculously. And I just want to bring that power to you. My child of God, not until you are grateful and thankful to God for your life. You cannot be thankful to God for other things and people around you. I want you to learn the spirit of gratitude with thanksgiving and, and begin to admire the gifts in other people at your workplace, at your home, in your country, in your tribe. Move it away. You know, the, the spirit of God wants you to just be grateful. And this by doing this is... In the power of agreement, you will see that greatness will begin to flow. The body of Christ is too much, you know, the Gentiles are too much scattered and building things for themselves when God wants us to go throughout the whole world. I have the full message on this. And if you tell God you want a full copy of it, just make sure you send me a message. You send you contact us on the content that you can see rolling out there and we will give you get you the main main uh, um, uh, um, uh, full message that will bless you and you, it's a step-by-step -step movement and those of you want to join our bible school let us know as well a lot of people are moving to different realm um, and at this moment i'm going to leave you for a few minutes and i'm going to come back to you and pray with you as we take a break after that break, I'll pray with you and we close. God bless you. Say thank you for grace. Thank you for mercy. Thank you for understanding. Thank you for wisdom. Thank you for parents. Thank you for love. Thank you for kindness. Thank you for humility. Thank you for peace. Thank you for prosperity. Say thank you in advance for what's already yours. That's how I live my life. That's where I, why I am, one of the reasons why I am today. Say thank you in advance for what is already yours. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for this day. Thank you for every moment that led to this day. Thank you for the hard times. They made me appreciate the good times. Thank you for the lessons. They were needed for my development. Thank you for my eyes that get to witness the miracles of today and tomorrow. Thank you for everything I take for granted. Thank you for all of my blessings. Thank you for my drive. Thank you for my spirit. Thank you for my strength. Thank you for giving me the courage to fight through the hard times. Thank you for the people in my life, those I love and those I learn from. Thank you for it all. Thank you. Thank you. It's the key that opens the door to instant happiness. Unlocks the door to everything we are really seeking in life. Happiness and contentment. Think about it. No matter what you say you want. Money, riches, health. To help others. Why do you really want it? When you drill deep down. The only reason anyone wants anything is the feeling we believe we will get from having it. 
That all boils down to happiness and contentment. And the truth is, we can have it now if we are grateful. And if you get quiet, get away from the noise of the world, and think for a moment about what you could be grateful for, I'm sure you could find plenty. Be grateful there's food on the table, air in your lungs, life in your body. Get grateful that you have opportunity, opportunity to take your life to a whole nother level, to decide right now that you are going to live your dreams and never settle until you do. Get grateful for the mental strength you've been given to survive the hard times. Get grateful for your limbs if you have them. Many are not so blessed. Your eyesight if you have it. Many are not so blessed. Your hearing if you have it. Many are not so blessed. The health you do have. Many are in worse positions. Get grateful for that one person that has had an impact in your life or many people if you are so blessed. Then get grateful you can choose to be that person for someone else. That one that makes a difference in someone else's life, no matter how small. Get grateful you get to experience this magical universe. Today, look for miracles. I guarantee if you are looking, you will see them. There are unlimited things to be grateful for. Open your eyes, unlock your amazing life. It's ready for you right now. Thank you for this day. Whatever it brings, whether a challenge I need to grow, a lineup to teach me patience, an unexpected blessing, every moment of joy, whatever today brings, thank you. Whatever it brings, I pray I have enough presence in each moment to know that no circumstance is my life. No high or low, no event, no thing is my life. Life is energy, and I know I'm so much more than my physical body. Thank you for my ability to love, to give to others my authentic love and kindness without expecting anything in return. Thank you for my strength. Thank you for my presence. Thank you for my ability to attract only the things and people that are in harmony with what I need in my life. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for this day, whatever it brings. Now in the name of Jesus, I pray for a spirit of agreement and thankfulness of God that we would thank you in everything that we do. Lord, we'll be thankful for every environment around us. We'll be thankful of God and the power of gratefulness, gratitude and thanksgiving and the power of agreement that we will not sit in one place. We will not only look for our tribes and our agendas and Lord God, but spread and go and dominate this earth in Jesus' name. God bless you. See you again. Shalom.